those students to use the Sphero robot on the creativity folder, please go ahead and open up Sphero Edu. Next, go ahead and click right here and we're going to be using a Sphero bolt. And then you're going to see the line, so you're going to click on one of those lines so it's connecting to one of those robots. These are the bolts right here. These are the bolts. Now we can also use the spark. So those are the spark and these are the bolts. The bolts have like, like a grid here, okay? And the sparks won't. They won't have a grid. So that's how you can distinguish between both of them, okay? So this one is lit up. That's me that means it connected to this one, okay? And click right here. Here are many robots that the Sphero can connect to. In this case, we're going to select the Sphero Mini. Now, usually the one that has the highest bars is the one, the robot that it's closest to. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select that first one. And it's connecting to it and see how it lit up. That means it showed that it connected. To confirm that it is your robot, you can go ahead and change the colors. That's how you know that that one's yours. Okay, boys and girls. So now you are ready to aim your robot, okay? Before you drive it, you want to aim. So you press right here on aim. When you press right here, you're going to see that light. So you want to make sure that that light is pointing to you right there. So I'm right here. It should be pointing to me. And then this is how fast and how slow. This is where I can change the color. And then I can go ahead and start moving it up. See? And it moved up. And so I can start driving it. Okay? That's how you drive your robot. You can also code your robot. So you can go ahead and go here to programs. Then press the plus right here. And it's okay, you can just leave it like that, my first program, just to save a little bit of time. It shows you all the codes that you can use to program your robot. It shows you here, look, one sample. You can just press start there. It's gonna code it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this program. And then you can try your own, okay? So here you're going to drag it. And this, you could change it to whatever color you want. And then you can have it roll straight um, here. This would be your speed. So how fast do you want it to roll? And then for how many seconds? Let's say three seconds. So you press play, I mean start. And see, I just coded it right there. And you can be making those adjustments on your code. And that's how you code, boys and girls. There's more things you can do here. So I'm gonna press stop. There's a lot more you can do here. There's movements, lights, sounds, sensors. There's so much, guys. To begin, this is a good place to start. As you can see, there are more ways to code a Sphero. There is the draw coding, the block coding, the text coding, and virtual bot coding. That's in beta, that's being tested at the moment. To show you the draw coding, go ahead and click on the draw, then click on create. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my robot is aimed. So I'm gonna click here on aim, and see that light, it needs to be pointing to me. So I'm going to make sure that it's pointing right about here, okay, where it, where it starts. So then I'm going to draw about right there, kind of like a racetrack. Now I'm going to click start. Look at what happens here. It shows you the distance and I find that fascinating. So it didn't even get to turn. It stopped right there. Press stop and try again. Then I can make the adjustments I need to make in this draw coding. To disconnect your robot, go ahead and click right here and then select disconnect. 
This works for all the robots you're working in. It could be, in this case, it was a bolt, but if you were using a spark, then it would show spark and you would disconnect it. If you were using a mini, you would do the same thing. You would just disconnect it. Okay. All right, have fun coding. <laughs>